Today, it's easy to lose sight of the true meaning of Christmas. So on December 11th from 2 p.m. at the Wasta Sports Ground, the V Family Church is hosting Aguinaldo, celebrating Jesus in Paran and the relaunch of the St. Joseph Open Bible Church. Aguinaldo, time to bring back the true meaning of Christmas. Aguinaldo, getting ready for an evening of family fun, Paran and treats at the Wasta Sports Ground. Hosted by the V Family Church, December 11th from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Aguinaldo, celebrating Jesus. And we want to thank you for being a part of this event this evening. This is a groundbreaking event. This is also the relaunch of the St. Joseph Open Bible Church. Again, thank you to Revelino and Sister Lynette. So a little background on what Aguinaldo means. Aguinaldo, it's very interesting because Aguinaldo has a lot to do from a business perspective of a bonus that is given during Christmas time. It's also a genre of music, but what's the greatest bonus that we could have at Christmas time? What is the greatest bonus that we could have at Christmas time? Who can answer this question again? A prize. What is the greatest bonus we could have at Christmas time? A present? What present? A gift? You're on the right track. What gift? Alright. What is the greatest gift or bonus at Christmas time? Not wrong. I want something else. Greatest gift at Christmas time. Greatest gift at Christmas time is Jesus. Thank you very much. So the greatest gift, the greatest bonus we can ask for at this time is the gift of the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus. So we celebrate his birth today. And we celebrate with Paran, sweet Paran music.
Buenos Aires, from Buenos Aires.
Amen, amen, amen. Everyone having fun? Amen. God is good? And all the time? God is good? And all the time? Hallelujah. Praise God. God is a good God today. I am definitely having fun in here today. I must say, it was a privilege to be invited by Revelino, my great brother and sister. Let's give them a round of applause for this wonderful event here. Praise God. And I see a mighty man in the, the congregation, the leader, the one that stands over them. Let's give Pastor Osna a wonderful round of applause. You are doing a great job. Amen. And let's give God a round of applause for all of them now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I would like all the Maloney overcomers, Sunday school children, sitting in the congregation, please. All the Maloney overcomers, Sunday school children. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is good. Hallelujah. Well, I just want to give God thanks and praise for this evening. God has been so good to me. And I know most of us know the story about David and Goliath, right? We all know the story about David and Goliath. And David defeated Goliath because God had his back. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. And I just want to encourage everyone in here. You know, my testimony is about school. And I attended El Dorado Senior Comprehensive. And I was a footballer in El Dorado Senior Comprehensive. And there's a stigma placed on the footballers in El Dorado Senior Comprehensive. When you are a footballer, you cannot achieve no passes. You won't come out with anything. You will just play football all your life and then you will come out with probably one pass and you all know what that pass would be. PE. That's the only pass you will get. So, attending El Dorado Senior Comprehensive, being a footballer here and the teachers constantly say that we come to school and waste time. We, we don't pay attention. And I asked God one day in the library, I was sitting in the library, and to be honest, I really didn't know I was going past maths, English, HSB, POB, POA, geography. I would have passed PE. And social probably had a gathery. I say that to myself. And I say, God, I am going to confess to my friends in school. And I'm going to confess to my teachers, Maya. I am going to confess to all of them that I am going to get seven passes. And I went on my knees. So I'm, I don't know who, which child in here who is doing CXC. God is more than able. Let me tell this story quick. And I say, God, I need your help. I go in on a prayer and fast. I hear the people in church talking about something called fasting. That's make God move. Fasting does do make God do wonderful things. And for me to get seven passes, it had to be a wonderful thing because I was on the road to one pass, which was P. I had two months to do this. And I pray and ask God. I say, God, show off and show up. And God, I started going to the library every day. I started to, to read. I started to write. I started work on maths, go by teachers. So I encourage all of y'all here who have CXC today, all the big kids that I'm seeing, start to go to the library, start to read, start to, 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 to revise, to do your homework because God could get glorified in things like these. And going on now, so I continuously, and then one friend joined me who was a footballer, and then another one joined, and then another one joined, and then another, and the whole football team was in the library. Every single day we in the library. The only time we come out was for box lunch. We must come out around half past 11, get our box lunch, 
and head back into the library. And the entire football team. So this is not just a testimony for me. This is a testimony that you can help your friends when you take time to seek God and ask him to do something for you. Which is either pass your schoolwork, your teacher maybe tell you you're going to fail, you're a failure. Sometimes your friends tell you you're going to fail, you don't see, you're only getting F in test, you're only getting D in test, you're only getting C. I only get C in test coming up from C and 40% from El Dorado from Form 1 to Form 4. It's only C, C. They could have called me a C a man in the days of David and them. It's only C, constant C. But this time I say, God, God, I point you to the test. And all of us was in the library studying constantly, constantly, constantly. And I just want to tell you all, on the day of our results in El Dorado Senior Comprehensive, me and the entire football team made history. It was the first time the school ever accomplished the football team get five passes and more. Give God some praise for that. Five passes. Each footballer got five passes and more that was on the starting team. So I didn't just get P. So now I want to encourage the youths today by the sound of my voice. Put God in your studies. Put God in your CXC. Put God in your SCA. Because he will show up for you. I, God showed up for me. So he could definitely show up for you. And Giovanni, God could show up for you. God could show up for you, Jordan. God could show up for you, Caden, Israel. All of y'all, God could show up for y'all. Especially you down in the back, Josiah. God could show up for you. Put God in your studies and God will show up for you. He will come out with passes. That now you could stand and say, I serve a good God. And when somebody say, God is good, you will say? And when you say all the time? And let's say it one more time. God is good? And all the time? Hallelujah. Praise God. Thanks for listening this afternoon. You want to welcome at this time. Put your hands together for Pastors Revelino and Lynette Guevara. The visionaries behind Aguinaldo this evening as they share with you their vision for today. And I'm sure I'm sure there's a lot on their heart. So Hallelujah. You all had a great time. You all had a great time. Hallelujah. That that is was our intention to bless the community. And you know, we are here just to make an impact in the lives of the individuals in St. Joseph. Our intention is to leave St. Joseph better than we met it. You know, God gave us a vision to touch the hearts and the lives of everyone in our community. And that is what we want to do. That is what we want to do from the young children to the old ladies. You know, we are here to, to bless individuals. And, you know, we are so, our heart is so filled, you know, because of, you know, this event tonight. And we want to tell you that we are coming in the community very soon you know to bless your heart with bigger and better projects to lift you from one level to another level of glory so just you know stay tuned stay connected with us and you know stay connected with god we are here to just make you connected to god which is you know our source who's our source and who's our guide so it was our pleasure to bring this to you this year and stay tuned for, for greater and better things next year. Amen. So I just want to say thanks to our pastor on uh, the Tunapuna Open Bible Church. We want to say thanks to Wasa. We thank Hardcore, all our sponsors, the office of the Prime Minister, um, many other persons who would have supported this vision we want to say thank you to all our volunteers not just from the tunapuna open bible but from various churches throughout the east west corridor and even shaguana so we want to say thank you thank you for the persons who would have done the games our judges the sound tech 
Hallelujah. We want to thank God for the, the persons who would have done the, the stage, the um, counselor Josiah Austin. He played a big part. We want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And may God bless you. We are looking forward to your contribution for next year. God's willing. We want to have it bigger and better. Looking forward to the, the participation of more groups in the St. Joseph community. As uh, my husband would have said, we are coming here. The V Family Church will be established very soon, very early in January. So we will be knocking on your doors to come out because we want to really impact your lives. Hallelujah. We want to impact your homes. Once your homes are impacted, this community will be changed for the glory and the honor of the Most High God. So we want to thank you again. And this is not the end. We want you to enjoy the music, enjoy the rest of what's happening in the evening. We have, we have um, wings and fries and the other things that shall and so we continue to announce. So once again, thank you and may God bless you. Amen, amen. Put your hands together for, for all of you for coming out. Thank you so much. And I just want to acknowledge Reverend Boyce. He is the, the Secretary General of the EAC. Just put our hands together for Reverend Boyce, a great supporter of mine. Hallelujah. On behalf of Rebecca and myself, it was indeed a pleasure being here with you today. But just as we started in prayer, we have to end in prayer and give God thanks. So, to give closer remarks and to close us off in prayer, I want to have all your attention on stage as we welcome our pastor, our spiritual father, and covering Reverend Dr. Desmond Austin. Put your hands together for him, please. Thank you very much. You know, it's it's a pleasure to be here. It's very difficult to speak. To a church that is moving. I like a church that is moving on, but a moving church, it's hard to talk. So I just want to pray. All right, Father, we thank you for a day that you have ordained that has come to pass. And over this event, we declare your lordship. We declare your kingdom come, your will be done. We undo all the plans of the devil and we establish your kingdom mandate. We thank you for the forward momentum. The grace of God that has come to pass. We thank you for redeeming the arts, even through the work and the ministry of those that have been involved. We declare that there's a new day that has dawned in this St. Joseph community, even this former capital city. We redeem that which has been established for your honor and for your glory. Now may the blessings of God be upon Revelino, upon his wife, upon all those that have contributed. Those that were involved in knitting the garment for the high priest will partake us of the blessing. Those that are here today involved and have contributed, we bless them in the name of the Father. Now we bless this community, we bind the strong man, and we establish the lordship of Jesus over every home, over every life, over every child. We thank you for the word that was spoken today in testimony. May that word come alive in the spirits of the hearers thank you for raising up the standard now over everyone over your home we pray the blessings of god now may the lord bless you and may the lord keep you may the lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you may the lord lift up his countenance upon each and every one of you and bless you with his peace god bless you shalom have a wonderful christmas and a blessed and prosperous new year to everyone <laughs> Thank you.
Pablo.